and welcome back to the channel guys tool reviews of tools i use uh, today i'm going to be taking you through my landscaping uh, and groundworks tote uh, that keeps all my tools in it so this is a dewalt uh, tote bag it's extremely strong and i know this because this is pretty much the heaviest tool bag i own uh, it's got so many tools in it it's got so many th things like this just lumps of steel uh just big old club hammers big old chisels and everything like that and i'll take you through them and show you each individual tool so on the outside it's got various pockets i'm not going to be able to turn the bag around on this tool uh, so i'll just uh, pull them out and show you so i've got a tape measure here this tape measure has lost its clip a long time ago so it just lives in this uh, pouch just here i've got uh, knives cutting open uh, cement bags, sandbags, um, gravel, you name it, really useful to have. And I've got cheap blade there. This one's like a copy of the Stanley Titan. I'll uh, review it sometime. Keep a set of gloves. You should try and keep a few of these. These are kind of semi-disposable. They're the ones with the, the grip on the palm uh, and just simple cloth gloves. I try and keep cement off my hands as much as possible now. I get a lot of like these big splits in my hands if I get too much cement on them uh, from times I've worked with it a lot in the past. Uh, I've got brushes, a couple of different brushes. I use this one for like brushing down brickwork and things. I use this for cleaning, uh, cleaning out buckets and stuff like that. It's really uh, good to have a few of those. I've got a bucket trowel scoops out whatever you're mixing out of a bucket really useful i've got various club hammers this has slowly become one of my favorite hammers to use it's a roughneck uh, hammer i can't remember the weight of this one uh, but i believe it's the heavier uh, one that they do of this kind and it's like a just a mini sledgehammer even though it's not the biggest head on it, it's, it carries so much momentum when you swing it. It's uh, it's really, really useful. It's heavy to keep in this bag, but it gets used so much that it stays in there. Got another club hammer. You can start to see why this bag is so heavy now. This is a heavy club hammer. I believe this is about a four pounder, something like that. It's a, a really chunky one. When I need to really give something a heavy whack, this is the one that comes out. And I've got this one you can see a little bit of a size comparison this one's made by ck and uh, this is a nice just general purpose hammer but if something really needs demolishing this thing comes out got a crowbar just a small one not too big not too heavy but it's still long enough to give me a little bit of leverage and pull out nails and so on a brickies hammer a bricklayer's hammer uh, it's got that nice chisel end there, and obviously a flat hammer there. Very good to have this. You use it a lot, breaking off mortar off bricks and blocks and things like that. Uh, splitting blocks, you name it. This is really, really good. This is a Stanley Anti-Vibe. Uh, it served me really well. Use line marking paint a lot. You're always going to have some of this in here. Really useful. Still on hammers, I've got a nice big mallet. This is really good for uh, uh, laying down big slabs, big heavy slabs that so you need to give a, a bit of a whack to without breaking. This one's really good for it. It's made by Kingfisher. I don't know if that's a well-known brand. I, I don't think I've heard of them any other time, but this particular one has really been good. Got a slightly smaller rubber mallet, which is this one here. It was just a little cheapo one. But it's, uh, it's really, really done well. I stuck like a walking stick uh, end cap on it because I found myself constantly tapping blocks with the bottom of the handle and it just saves the, the wood from splitting at the bottom. So for the sake of, I think it cost me a pound or something like that, it's lasted a really long time. It just protects the bottom of the wood. Uh, it's very useful. I keep a bunch of trowels. So this is gauging trowels. This one's made by Faithful. Uh, it's not the it's not the best one I've used. This one's got a bit of a long skinny end on it. I, I prefer the one that's just a bit stubbier that I've got. It's about that long, but yeah, it does a job. 
Uh, it's a Marshall Town uh, London pattern trowel. Uh, it's just good for block work, brick work, anything like that that you're doing. Uh, laying large amounts of mortar. Do like this. It's really nicely made, like uh, most Marshall Town trowels. Uh, I use this for putting like a nice curve on things like steps and concrete slabs and things like that. I'm looking to get a bigger one of these to add to the collection. This is, uh, but this puts a lovely finish when you're when you're making uh, concrete work. Uh, really, uh, yeah, really brings out the best in it. Keep a claw hammer in here. General Beta hammer. This one. This is anti vibe from Stanley. Uh, really, really good hammer. And I keep a scutch hammer. So if you're not familiar with these, these things here, you can take out these, uh, what are called combs. You can just knock that out of there and uh, and replace the tips. So you've always got a fresh sharp end to it. Um, and you can just bash off mortar and, and everything. It's really, really useful in a bag like this. This was just a cheapo one by Silverline and it just will not break. So I've just been using it for ages. Great tool. Keep a couple of levels in here, just torpedo levels. This is a cheapo one, it came in a set, and this one is uh, by Stabula. Both work just as well as each other, really. Um, I, I find it nice to have two levels so I can sometimes cross them, uh, keep slabs level and things like that. Just really, uh, really nice. In the bottom, I keep a bunch of various chisels. Ones like this, big heavy duty ones that you can really give some whack to at the bottom. These ones here, this one's made by Footprint. And I think uh, this one was an Eclipse one, I can't remember. And if you want to split bricks or blocks or anything like that, this is a really good one. Uh, it's made in England, but I'm not sure who it's made by. But yeah, absolutely ideal. A scraper just for smoothing things off scraping stuff this is called a small tool and if you're just doing sort of intricate work in in little tiny corners or something like that that's where this can sometimes really be of help you've got a little flat end there and you've got a little pointy trowel end there and it just gets you out of trouble sometimes Keep a set of ear defenders in there. Uh, when you when you start beating down on things like this with a, a, a big old club hammer, you're hitting metal on metal. It gets really noisy. Uh, when you're using angle grinders, uh, especially the really big ones, they're, they're, they're super noisy. So having a set of these that you can just stick on quickly, uh, really useful. I keep uh, just like a plasterer's trowel just for finishing off things. Uh, you can put a nice uh, finish with this. It's just a, a cheapo one, but it does the job. Keep another knife in here. Just for cutting open bags and things. Keep brick uh, pins so you can work to a line if you wanted to. And I keep a chalk line just here. And I've got these in my other video as well. I've got a couple of these. These are nice work really well, use it as a plumb line, use it as a chalk line, get really nice straight lines off of it. Uh, I've got a whole load of drill bits at the back here, just long drill bits. Just whenever I'm so sticking a, a post uh, for a gate or something like that, I'm going, I'm going from uh, a post to a wall or something, I can go through it and drill the, the hole with this. And it just works to get fixings in well. Just keep them there. And at the back, I've got these chisels here, just for chasing things out, breaking up uh, joints and mortar and stuff. Uh, this is really, really good. And I think the only reason I've got two is because I lost one once. So I've got two of them, I've got a little chisel there, just a slightly smaller one than the other big ones that we've got. That's doing nice pointing. I keep a couple of those, various different sizes and profiles and things. Nice to keep them. 
and I've got a saw at the front with uh, yeah just a general purpose saw for cutting bits of wood up that's my bag uh, hope you like the content like and subscribe if you do check out my other toolbox tours and I'll see you next time